Hi guys, uh, Chris from Charge CCTV and Security. Uh, most of you will know my face by now, especially if we're, we're the guys who have actually installed your CCTV system. Um, so today's video is really for our customers. Uh, we're going to be running through our uh, Charge user guide and showing you how to actually use the features of your CCTV system that we've just installed. So we'll take you through um, the use of the HitConnect app We'll show you how to actually go through the live view, how to go through your playbacks, how to view past footage, how to take uh, screenshot snaps and how to take sectional videos from Vinyapass playback in order to share that with other people or whether it be gathering evidence, maybe you've had something happen or maybe you just want to share some of your footage with either your friends or family. So guys, we're going to safely assume that you've already done the login stage and you've got yourself into the mobile application. What we're going to do here is you're going to see in the center of the screen, um, this is on iPad, it may look ever so slightly different on your iPhone or an Android device, but the menus are, are very much the same. Um, what you're going to see, where we have Charge CCTV, this is the MVR that we've got set up. Some devices will have the bell on the right hand side, which will disable and enable the notifications. Uh, some of them may not, it just depends on the type of recorder that you've opted for. Anyone who's gone for the higher level i-series recorder will definitely have the bell. However, the k-series lower end recorders will not have the bell. Um, so disabling notifications are, are recommended that you don't do that on the lower series. So what you can do from here is by tapping the whole MVR, you will then bring up the full screen. If this is the first time that you've loaded the application on your device, you will be asked at this point to enter the encryption code. The encryption code is the verification code that we've given you. Uh, we'll have written that in your user guide or given that to you by email before this point. You only have to enter that verification code the once for every new device that you're adding to HitConnect. That will enable the device to then view the streams. So what we're now seeing in front of you is by tapping the one button, that's allowed you to then look at the, uh, in this case, a four square image. And then now that you can see four channels of this particular one that has seven re uh, channels being recorded. So what we can do, if we push the back button, we can go back to the main menu where you say more. If you push the more drop down, you can then choose from any of the cameras available. In this instance, we're gonna to touch the garage camera. You can see it's a bit packed in here, but this is me here within the garage. Coming back to the main view, again, you can open all of them at once. And what you'll see on the iPad here on the right hand side, when that comes up, you get the choice of 1, 4, 9, 12 or 16. You can then choose what layout you want to have and how many cameras you want to view. You can also tap up here on the top right hand side, the little camera icon that will let you pick and choose what cameras that you want to display. If you take some of them off or put some of them on, it completely down to you, but this will let you change a view. And there you're back to viewing only the four cameras that you've got selected. Tap the screen once more. You can add any camera back to any spot that you'd like. And then you can change the view on the right hand side here from one camera to four cameras to nine cameras, whichever display that you prefer. So that screen layout done. If you open up a single channel, what you can now do when you touch the channel is go and uh, get the, uh, the icon bar at the bottom of the screen. So this will again, it will appear ever so slightly differently, but the controls are still the same. So you can now go down to the bottom and the first button that we're gonna to talk to you about is the one in the bottom left that currently in this one says HD. It may say basic on your unit as it is, but then this is where you get the option to change between the two stream types. So the basic stream type, is to be used for when you have a low bandwidth. So if you're using say a 3G um, or, or something like that, have a very poor connection where you don't have a lot of data available to you, you may find that you've got a, a network unstable error or a, an error load in the video. If you change it to basic and it works, what that does mean is that it's purely an internet data connection issue. So there's nothing wrong with your recording and your recording will always be kept in high definition as well as having a basic feed available to it as well. So you don't need to worry, any settings that you're changing in here are not changing the actual recording on your recorder back at home. So we're gonna change that back to basic. If you're currently viewing multiple streams, you can slide the screen to one side to enable the next camera where you can then change that stream from a basic to a HD stream as well. So now we've got multiple streams running in HD. 
I'm going to take you back to camera one where you're going to continue this. You've now got on the on the bottom menu, the next one is the microphone button. You can see me highlighting there. If you have a camera uh, with two-way audio, not many of you will. Uh, most of them will just have the one-way audio so you can listen to what's going on in the scene. If you do have a two-way audio or a doorbell, for instance, you can use that microphone button in order to talk back through the camera. Next along is the little magnifying glass. This is where you can do digital zoom on the picture. So like this on the iPad, we push the digital zoom. We're going to zoom in as we go across and we're going to look out into the street. So we can see with this camera, we can move it all around. This is a digital zoom. It's not an optical zoom. And if you double tap the page, you'll go back to normal, back to your normal view. And I believe you get four views here where you can zoom in like that. Next along on the bar is the little camera icon. The camera icon is for taking snapshots in live view. So if you've got a particular moment of interest while whilst you're looking at the live view and you want to take a snapshot of it, you can tap the button, push the snapshot button, and that will save that into the uh, pictures and videos file of HitConnect, ready for you to export it, save it, or share it, whatever you'd like to do. The next option is a little video camera. And the video camera option does exactly what you think it's going to do. It's going to start recording live to save to your device. Now, this is not planning, this is not controlling recording on the MVR because what you're seeing in front of you is being recorded. But what this is going to do is record exactly what you want to see right now within the live view onto your mobile device. So it will save it within HitConnect. We'll wait for something to happen. So we've got a vehicle going past and we're then gonna push the record button again. And now that's stop recording. And that moment that we wanted to record is now complete. And we'll show you how to get to that in the video section later. We'll move on currently to the next icon in the bar, which is for the PTZ controls. Again, dependent on if you have a PTZ camera, um, these can be controlling of any of the EasyViz internal cams that we might have recommended that you purchase from Amazon. Um, links, to, links to these cameras will be in the description below. Um, or if you've got one of our uh, Hikvision ColorView PTZ cameras now, um, you can control and move the camera from here. You can also control any presets. So if we've got preset locations where the camera will turn and patrol at different times, you can control it from here and you can use the menu to focus and zoom. If you've got an optical, uh, sorry, a, uh, yeah, an optical zoom camera, we can do that in here as well. So look, that's all of the controls down the bottom. We now have a pause where we can pause the live view and then continue. And then we've got alarm outputs. Not that these are relevant in most of your systems. So these are all your controls down here. This is everything you'll need to know from the, from the live view point of view. And we'll move on to the playback section. So we go to the top right hand side where the three dots are. This will then bring you up the other menu. And in here you'll see on the top left hand side is the playback. When you're going into playback, it will then take you in with a loading bar at the bottom it will default back to midnight or as close as your last recording is. So in this instance, there was no recording at midnight. It was one minute, 30 seconds past. And then uh, on the, at the bottom here, you'll see that all of the orange sections within the line here are all moments of movement or events that have been recorded by the camera. So you can move your bar along to reach any of these moments of, uh, of recording, these moments of motion, and the playback will just skip between all of the moments so it will ignore the blank spaces and therefore you can watch a prolonged period of time maybe get through a couple of hours of footage in merely a few minutes of watching whilst you're in playback you can take screenshots of lives again like we should by using the camera icon in the bottom left hand side you can obviously pause the playback using the, play, the, the pause and playback button in the bottom left and then you also have the options to record those sections of video using the video camera button Once you've done that, the next section along will let you play multiple streams at the same time on playback. So if you've got a camera watching two zones, you can set up the second zone and then add them to it at the same time. So if on this one, we're going to pick uh, the driveway camera at the same time and start the playback on this video next to it. This can be a lot more difficult whilst you're trying to do this on, say, a phone versus an iPad. Um, obviously, the iPad, you're going to have a bit more choice in terms of uh, what you want to do and when. But you can bring your um, play to the same time. 
the same thing there, 2106. And you can synchronize your times up together on the two cameras so you can watch two playbacks at the same time. I'm going to take you back to one view. You can obviously use the magnifying glass to zoom in, uh, digital zoom on the, uh, on the playback that you've got. And that's how you use playback, snapshot and uh, sectional recording. What you can do now, if I take you back to the main screen, you've got your sections down here for notification and more. If you go to more, there is the section where you have pictures and videos. And then what this will do, this will show you all of the pictures and videos that we've just uh, snapped and screen recorded from this section. And you can play them video straight back. You can push the save icon which will save it to the local storage on the device. So that will come up in your uh, photo section, uh, either in um, your Android OS or your um, iOS device. You can uh, play it and share it directly from the device. So if you choose share on this one, you'll get the option to send it to any of your contacts, either by message, WhatsApp, AirDrop, etc. cetera. Um, when you come back to the main screen, you have the notification section. And in the notification section, you'll get all of your smart alerts that we've set up for you. So we may have set you up with line crossing or intrusion detections. How you notify that which ones are what. The bells, um, the bell logo on the left hand side, that indicates a smart event. Whereas a basic event will be notified just by a uh, the icon of a, of a man with a, uh, a little shadow to him, showing that there is motion detected. So depending on the system that you have and what we've set up for you, these are where all of your notifications will come through to. When you get a notification, you quite simply tap the notification within the list or open the notification as it comes up on your mobile device. You can go to live view to watch that camera immediately to see what's going on right now. Or you can push the playback button and then this will play back the video of that line crossing event. Then you can just slide the bar along to get to where you want within the video in order to trigger off where you had it. Coming back to the main menu, you also have the settings cog in the top right hand side of your device. Where in here you've got notifications, um, video, image and video encryption and some other settings in here for DDNS and remote configuration. It's unlikely that you will need to touch any of this because if you're one of our customers, we'll have set you up on our management portal and we'll be able to do any of the amendments for the systems as and how you need to. And that will all be covered within your package with us. So look, that's everything amongst the basics about using your live view and your playback. If there's anything else, please get in touch with us and we'd be more than happy to help you. So guys, hopefully you found that video useful uh, now that you're quite comfortable in using the live view and the playback features of your CCTV system. If there's anything more technical that maybe you want to use, please check our technical section uh, for all of our videos on there. Uh, you might find all the, the information that you need within them sections and the how-to videos of how to do it. If there's anything that we haven't covered so far, then please obviously get in touch, drop a comment below or send us an email at info at charge.services and we'll gladly help you with that. Thanks again for watching another video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned on the channel.